This annual gathering began as a forum to share values and concerns between Jewish people and Christians in the media. It's important, first of all, because Jesus was a Jew. Israel's government press office sponsors the summit and hosted nearly 120 people from more than 25 countries this year. We need to persuade lots of Christian media to come to Israel, to get to know the Israeli society, because when we have battles and military operation and even in a peace process period, we need more media world to talk about Israel in a positive way. At the opening night event, CBN News talked with visitors about why they attended the summit. Norway is a country where we have a lot of lies produced by the media about Israel. So what we are called to do is just to speak the truth. It's bringing together uh, television professionals and execs from around the world, right here in the epicenter of it all in Israel, to talk about updates, what's going on, how can we build stronger relationships with Israel. Some noted the importance for journalists to see and learn about Israel firsthand, rather than basing decisions on other sources. If you stay in your country and you uh, keep watching your national or international news, network, they will not tell you the truth about the region. The only way to connect with the reality is to come. We still need some voice in the East African region, in Africa, to tell the news of what is going on in Israel because there's so much negative media out there. So it's good when you come, experience it, and then you go back and tell the story of Israel. During the summit, participants had the opportunity to learn the latest in Israeli innovations, the danger Iran poses to the Jewish state, and the growth of anti-Semitism. An older battle than even the danger of a nuclear Iran is the ancient scourge of anti-Semitism, the hatred of the Jews. Historically, what starts with anti-Semitism ends up denying the rights and causing terror for many, many different minorities. So uh, that's why this summit is so important to lift our voices, to speak out against anti-Semitism, and to declare that racism in any form is unacceptable. They also had the opportunity to visit an IDF military base, see a replica of a Gaza city, and tour models of Hamas tunnels where Israeli soldiers now train to fight and defend Israel. Journalists also heard from Israelis in Nirim, a community close to the Gaza perimeter fence. Residents told them about living under the threat of rockets. And since these are Christian journalists, they felt the need to learn about God's perspective on Israel and the Middle East. It's important to understand what God is doing uh, now in Israel and the Middle East and what are the best way to reflect this through our media channel that we have in Romania. So we can then report more of the news of what's happening with a greater insight so that it can encourage more people to pray and intercede into some of the very tough political situations that Israel faces. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the Christian Media Summit, Jerusalem.